Well, good morning everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Um, welcome to 15 Minutes of Thought number 9. My goodness. So from here, my name is Dr. J.D. Swanson. If you don't know me, I'm the author of Karate Science. And what we're going to be talking about today is we're going to take our four-step drill now, but now create it more linear. And then I'm going to give you some sort of options if you've got less space and so forth, but also give you things to think about. So it's a really simple class, well, kind of, it can get a little bit mind-bendy, but it'll be fun. Okay, so from here, hey, us. Okay, so what we're going to do, if you remember our basic four-step drill that we introduced, I think it was in about lesson number four, it was this idea of moving forward with the left, forward with the right, back with the right, and back with the left. So hopefully you remember that. The idea here, of course, is that if we go down and rather than stepping back to Shizenta each time, we can stay down in stance. So the simple drill can end up looking a little bit now like so. So this is a nice way for us to warm up for the day. Again, nice, light sort of movement. From here, stepping forward, get Gyakuziki. gyakuziki. So it's going to step forward. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. So you can do that, of course, with all of the blocks. So again, remember it was forward right, or forward left, forward right, back right, back left. Let's check it out. Forward left, forward right, back right, back left. Good. And of course you can do that with sotuke, uchuke, shituke. Couple of things to think about is think about the last class, number eight. What we talked about there was really think about your hip and body connection. So as you step and move, pay attention as you step. You've got this nice push, push. As you step, don't leave your body behind, don't leave your bum out. Keep it nice and tucked. Feel here, compress, compress forward, punch. As you move backwards, feel, don't leave your face in the way. Keep here, back. Take your body effectively for the ride. Second thing, make sure that everything's synchronous. We've talked about this a lot. Make sure that when your center is moving, that's the only time your hands move. Never move your hands separately. This kind of feeling. Make sure as you move, keep this tuck, keep your feet on the floor. Feel as you move together. Together, 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 together. Make sure that you're concentrating and focusing on those particular points. Very simple, but important. So what I would do here, press pause, go through those movements. Go through get and Rai, forward right, forward left, back right, back left. Then go through Agyuke, Sotuke, Uchuke, Shutuke, get and Rai, punch. You can also, if you cast your mind back, add in any of the variations that we talked about before. Right? Any of the variations that we did with this, that all goes without saying. But now try it, staying in place. Pom, pom, pom. This kind of feeling. So press pause, have a play with that, and then I'll see you in a second. Okay, so once you've done that, you go, well, wait a minute, I haven't quite got enough space here to step right from here forward, step back, step. It doesn't require all that much space, but it can also be tight, depending on the size of your living room, bedroom, bathroom, wherever you are. So another way to do this is also to think about sort of a double stepping kind of method. So if you notice, when we started with this, we started from up here in Shizentai, we squeeze and push. Rather, what we can also do is we can change that to have the change point in the middle of the motion. So let me just sort of explain. What we could do here, and we'll do it just with the block initially, is from here, practice, we'll do, actually we'll do it without the block, we'll just do it straight here from the stance. Our first movement was step forward, right? So what we would do normally is to be here, bang, forward. So try here, step forward, then back. Now we do it again, we repeat. Now our next motion, so that's been our two forward steps, now practice it with our back steps. So here, like so. 
Some things to think about that are really important is one, are you releasing? Keep a hold of that coin right here. Just keep a hold. Don't let it go each time. So when I step forward, not this, right? That just looks odd. Likewise, right? Allow your body to move. Keep here. Step, 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 step. Keep that feeling. Second thing, try and keep your feet on the floor. So again, last time, remember, we practiced the idea of stepping here. Keep same feeling. So what you need to do is you need to allow your body weight to step back. Don't feel, don't be at one with that. Be okay with that, with that motion. Be okay with stepping back and then stepping forward. Allow that to happen. Right, that's important. Same as hand shot on, right? You see people all the time in hand shot on. What a waste of time. Rather, right? pull, pull. Allow your center to move back. That's your power. Allow that to happen. Pull, and down. Not this sort of, allow, allow. Allow your center to move. We'll talk more about that in a second, but for now, all I want you to do is start out with left leg forward, no hands, stepping up, one, two, one, two, now back, one, two, one, two, just like so. Press pause, give that a go, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so once you've done that, now practice the full hip action. So it's gonna go, we're gonna use just the block, so we're gonna start down here, try this time, Pull, compress, back. Pull, compress, back. Now backwards, one, two. Whoop. Then from here, one, two. So this kind of feeling. Forward, pull, pull. forward, pull, pull. back, back. Just like so. Be wary of where your feet go in the middle. Don't just put them back anywhere. Squeeze, squeeze, and push. Squeeze and push, squeeze and push. The other thing to think about is also pay attention to how your body's moving, right? Because you're in Zen Kutsudachi, what's gonna happen is on the forward steps, if I grab this handy dandy white belt and just place it on the floor here, so this is sitting right over my center body. Yeah, I'm still it ah, this way. So I'm sitting with this right over my center body. If you notice, it's the classic, this is about one third of the way forward. There's two thirds back in my heel. So you can just see that white belt there. As I make the first steps, watch. My center body moves hardly any distance forward. It remains over this belt. One, two, one, two. When I move back, my center moves back, then forward. Back, then forward. So allow that to happen. Allow that motion to happen. We're here, get them live. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Allow that to actually happen. One other thing, just because I felt myself almost doing it, make sure that your hips don't lift. Not up and down, not up and down. Make sure it remains down. Likewise, the thing you want to remember, the thing you want to think about, whichever stance, with, with Zenkuts and Kolkuts, right? Zenkuts Adachi is kind of like anti Kolkuts. Kolkuts is like anti Zenkuts, yeah? Just in terms of the bend in the front knee. Whichever leg has most of the bend on it, that's the one where your center is forward most. So I'm here, boom, boom. Here now, because this is outstretched, I now must create the bend and push forward. I must create the bend and push forward. When I switch to Kolkuts Adachi, because most of the bend, of course, is in the back leg, and you know the classic weighting of 70-30. When I move forward now, I must move my center relative to the OB on the floor, forward and back, forward and back. But when I move backwards, it hardly moves at all. Okay? So this is one of those fundamental differences. Remember, one of the reasons we have stances is not necessarily to make strength one side or the other. It's really rather to move your body center relative to your opponent. So when I imagine myself here, okay, in Zenkuts, my body center is already forward to my opponent. If I switch to Kolkuts, 
it's way back. So this gives me the ability to create distance either in the forward or backward direction without shifting my feet on the floor, without moving them forward or backwards. <clears throat> okay, so with that, how I want you to think about it is the simple idea of just making Geron Rai, pay attention to your body weight, pay attention to your center, don't worry about speed, worry about form and technique. Allow, to, allow it to be one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Last thing to think about, be decisive in your hips. Don't make it sort of slug. Slug. Rather, give it some pep. So here, one, throw that. Here, throw that. Here, throw that. Here, throw that. That kind of feeling. So with that, work through that just with the blocks. Use all blocks. Get them but I, agyuke, sotuke, uchuke, shutuke. Again, shuto. You would start here, allow. As you move. As you get smoother, you can speed it up. So with that, press pause, give it a go. Okay, last component for today. So from here now, add the punch, kick, whatever. Pay attention to the same idea. So now, initially, how you want to practice it, practice it without arms. Practice just legs, think about body center, hip position, blah, 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 all those things we've talked about. Here, forward, two. Then, from here, make it forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This feeling. And then, simply add the block and punch. Right, so we're here. Our first one, remember, coordinate body movement with leg, with hip. Everything the same time. One, two, punch. One, two, punch. One, two, punch. One, two, punch. And so forth. Again, for each of the blocks. Little thing about Gyakuski, make sure hand, hip, same time. Not this, together, together. There are times when throwing, you can throw them in opposite or out of synchronicity, but for now, think about the idea together, together. You ideally don't want to hit your target without everything moving. And again, for the Gyakusuke, use the hinge point, not through here, but through here to drive forward, to drive forward. So once again, starting with your left leg forward, right arm out, it's gonna go one, two, back, three, four, like so. Practice that with Genambarai, Agyuke, Sotuke, Uchuke, Shutuke, okay? That particular set. So nice and easy. So with that, that's it for today. Um, so I'll just bow out. Hey, us. Thank you. And a couple of quick comments, a quick shout out. My good friend David Gimberline is also producing an awesome set of beginner karate videos. You'll see his link down below in the description. And um, also, don't forget, there's a lot of live Zoom classes going on. And also, don't forget to catch up on a lot of Greg and Deb Hoplomazian stuff that's going on out there and also George Vance's. So with that, take care. I'll meet you all later. See you soon. Us.